110 percent that's more yeah, than possible that's, he's giving it hard to the city giving it hard oh, no nah, listen sense. listen listen <laughs> you could put these in your notes me and santiago so far he's he's a little new around here right santiago went up to it uh, i mean i'm no been you, you've been bit. around the block once or twice me and Santiago, well, me and him have sort of a uh, a rough little history. Short little history, but it's a rough one. What'd he do? Let's just say that. He didn't do something. Um, never mind. We'll, we'll just keep what we know to each other. Why don't you want to well. tell us? Yes, please divulge any inf further information while I have my clipboard. He's just a really too, good guy. Can't be too he's just a good guy. He's, he's really a good guy. A good guy. Right, Santiago. Oh, I'll make sure to put that in uh, my notes guy. as well. Really a good oh, guy. Right. He's, a, he's a fucking great, great guy. I think he's a pretty swell guy myself, if you know what I mean. He is. Unlike some people who are a couple cows short of a steak, if you know what I mean. I get you on that one. <laughs> Couple stakes, two less. Well, in my notes I have that uh, Santiago is a great guy who is 110%, 100%, 100% giving it hard to the city. And I'll, I'll take 110%. I'll take that as he's doing 110% effort to keep this city out of danger. Would I be a correct plus in saying? I'll agree to that. A plus I'm only plus. putting in 90. That Diago's picking up my other 10. Exactly. There you go. Santiago's putting in the work. <laughs> putting in the time clock. Punching in the hours. That's what I like to hear. Well, I Cash appreciate and your... and snapping necks. Exactly. Cash and checks and <laughs> snapping necks. Because that's what... Because that's what cops should be doing in this town. Hey, buddy, watch <laughs> out. You might get your fucking... Next snap if if you move the wrong way. Uh well very listen, good, very good. Yes, it's been a pleasure before, speaking with you, Mr. Yes. Myers. And uh I hope you have a swell rest of your day and uh make sure to stay out of trouble. As much as a wonderful conversationalist as you are, uh I wouldn't mind to uh keep our interaction to as minimal as need be, if you know what I am saying, mister. Oh, I I 100% agree. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be seeing you guys too much. Of course. Now stay out of trouble, Mr. Miles. And this has been, I'm Officer Jones if you ever need assistance. And, uh... You know who I am. Yes, you know the man who's putting 110% to protect the city. Boy, howdy. Well, 110% man. I'm going to go and uh, do some official police business so you two uh, can continue this conversation if you so desire. But I will find my exit and uh, bid you two a good day. Oh, I I'm heading out too, boys. It's been a wonderful conversation. Bye, Santiago. Yeah. Bye, rookie. Well, we'll meet a win. We will hey, meet don't again. Call me fucking we will meet a when? What would you say, uh, Santiago? Uh, shush, shush, shush. Shush, shush, shush. Bad character. Oh, no. Hold on. We got we can, some... We, we got some prostitutes in the area I gotta go take care of. Hold on, guys. <laughs> You're gonna lose my car, then. Well, well, well. If I do believe... I brought that girl home for we have car, three man. uh unauthorized blowjob salesman get out of okay. here <laughs> oh go oh, on go oh, on oh. move 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 yeah run scared run scared yeah yeah mine's I, uh, I crashed it like it's got no doors on it the trunk is gone I'm on a bike so I can get there pretty fucking quick. I'm like right here. Well, you got backup coming.
Is this not Sandy Shores? I wish I gave a little flip on the map because I've been going to the wrong ones. <sighs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel free! Find the light with you. Sir. We gotta oh! run. Out. They're running? Yep. Where are they running to? Uh, going northbound. Northbound. Try to continue yeah, on the highway. Weird farm. Yep, keep going on the highway. Of course, I went to the wrong one. I knew that wasn't the Sandy Shore. Woo! I do perceive that coyote he wanted to die. Him. He's going north still. To Palito Bay. I'm on the highway. Of course, my car's not upgraded. It's got nothing in it. Officer Herb is in route on his speedy bike. <laughs> On his speedy bike. Oh my, you're making me laugh, you're making me crash. <laughs> speedy bike! Let's go! Sound like, uh. What is his I'm name? I'm dipping too. Pull over, bitch! Pull the fuck over! Stop running, goddammit! You're gonna make me crash! Ah! Do not crash. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Everyone, it's like a moment of silence. No, just shoot out their tires. Shoot them out. Just be done. No, they want to play dirty, then we can play dirty too. It's coming south. It's coming south. South? South is coming back to you. Okay. Setting up a roadblock. Can I shoot at his tires? Like, are they gonna fucking bitch to me? They probably will, but, you know, you'd be like, why'd you run? Huh? He's coming. He's on the other side. Cross, 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 cross. Crossing. What's he in? What's he in? Motorcycle. Motorcycle. I see him. I see him. Okay. In route. Fucking NPCs, man. They're pretty bad. Jesus Christ. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Right, I gotta take this. Okay. He's he's over here. Wait. He's going back north. Did you see him? Yep, he's going north. He's a little out of me. I mean, if they've got stuff that's faster than our vehicles, then they need to be, their tires need to be shot out. It's just stupid for them to be like, oh, we have to catch them when they're not on a vehicle. Or when they're stopped. Yeah. Like, we can hope that they crash, but he's in a motorcycle, and I'm pretty sure he's got pretty good control on that thing. I mean, I'm catching up to him, okay. but it takes a while. Yeah. Oh, no. Did you lose him? Catch him? Hey, he's coming back to you. Okay. We know who it is. I know exactly what that bike looks like. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm getting out of the car. I, I meant to press E. No, I did not. But if he comes this way, I'm blowing out his tires. Slash P B, bro. I lost them. I don't see anyone on a motorcycle. No, I lost them. 
I got messages from people's parents, like, I, they're like, yeah, our son watches your stuff, or my, our daughter watches your stuff, and, um, you know, we don't really want them watching someone who uses foul language, and blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, and it's like, I don't need to, to describe my point and my opinion, I don't need to use, like, profanity all the time, you know, so, I just don't use it anymore. <laughs> I think I... It, it, go ahead. Hello? I He's, try not to. I mean, I don't really try yeah. not to. Right. I mean, I'm not going to be like... But, you know, it's nice to, as a police officer, to say, you know, watch your profanities. You know? Because they'll listen to you. Because if you say it as, like, just another civilian, they're like, oh, whatever. But it's just so bad, like, on some of the public servers, it's just like, you know, F word, or F this, F that, uh, you know, everything in their book, their vo vocabulary seems very small, and then whenever they start, you, you gotta know, be like, watch you know, your profanity, watch your profanity. You guys don't know that? Yes, I know it. it. Yes. <laughs> Storage Wars, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> watch your profanity. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. I want him to do time for his crime. So, did you physically see his face? <clears throat> yes, on his motorcycle. My so motorcycle's been in the shop since I saw you guys earlier. Well, well, this, well. Look who we This motorcycle have rider here. was not wearing a helmet? I always have my helmet. Well, before you got on your bike, you didn't have your helmet on when I pulled up to you in Sandy Shores and then you evaded me when I asked you to stop Sandy Shores I haven't been up there in like a Don't week or two fucking lie to me boy on my way see you know I mean this sort of just feels why do you, like why do you have to lie I don't understand why you just have to keep lying I'm not Own up to your mistakes. be a man be a man own up to your mistakes do you have any more questions for my client here? I sure do. Your client do, is boy. under arrest. I have a question. <clears throat> so, yeah, go ahead. you said you like to wear your uh, motorcycle helmet when you uh, riding your motorcycle around, right? All the time. Well, Mr. Sounds Myers, like I do have do. a question for you. What color is your motorcycle helmet? He's just gonna lie. I know. It doesn't matter. Baby blue. Same. Baby blue, baby blue. Oh my, oh my. Yeah. Well, when was the last time you were operating your motorized vehicle? Actually, after I saw you guys and had that lovely conversation. God damn it, man. Remember, I, uh, I think I said I how great of a man Officer Santiago was? I got a yes, flat yes, tire. Uh -huh. he needs to oh. turn down the fucking and my bike has been in the shop since. Fuck, uh, your bike's been in the shop with a flat tire for uh, how many hours now? Seems like uh, Los couple, Santos I mean, Customs needs to get their game up. I'm, I'm definitely going to give them a call and see about your motorcycle uh, being in such need of repair and why it's taking so long. Because that is just uh, an abuse of shame. your time. Yeah, really it is. You're paying for their yeah. services and now they are abusing I'm you. And uh, not allowing you to have your motorcycle back. What a shame. What a shame. I recommend him going to my mechanic, but he never goes. Now, now, why, why would you not listen to your, uh, your lawyer? And uh, whenever he gives you a recommendation, seeing that you are trying to learn the best from him in both the lawyer standpoint and as a man yourself. I'll be honest with you, it's my cousin. He fixes my bike, so. Your cousin? What's your well, cousin's he name? like he's not doing a very good job. <laughs> no, just let me talk well, to him. Well, it's my let cousin's shot. It doesn't mean I'm, he's I'm gonna, gonna get him to fess um, up. My cousin is named Eric. Eric, Eric. Uh, which Los Santos location? Uh, Los Santos Customs, that being. Did you, uh, take your bike to be, uh, enhanced or corrected 
uh, by Mr. Well, Eric. How did you get this flat? Maybe you were, you know, got the flat Being when you were evading us. Purple's in here. Uh, uh, I... hey. That's a bullshit line of questioning. Come on, officer. That's not a bullshit line of question. That's a very fair question. Mr. No, he Mr. said he got the flat after he got done talking to you. Shortly Mr. after. So. Mr. Chris, well, Mr. Don't Chris, try and make my we went up to plead client alone. incriminate himself. Uh, I do have Shortly a recommendation. After. Um, <clears throat> it would be, it would please me, as an officer of the law, that we keep the profanities to a minimum, because they are quite abrasive against uh, all you who are listening. I mean, no disrespect by it. I understand, I understand. It's common language, but, you know, it's just my personal preference as a professional manner that we both approach it to not use profanities uh, in all parties involved. It's just a better form of communication, if you know what I mean. Yep, anyway. I think that's something we all could agree from. on. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well... Now that we're talking as civil human beings, uh, <clears throat> we have had some incidences with uh, several, uh, maybe singular, uh, individuals yeah, or individual uh, yeah. having evading a uh, simple police command to pull over for a routine traffic stop. Would you guys happen to know any information about that? Uh, any no. any information I would hear about that would come from a client, and I'm not legally uh, able to speak on such things. Now, 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 now. He doesn't have to be a client. You could have heard it possibly passing by. You could have witnessed it while you were in your car. Who knows? I, am, I don't keep tabs on you directly to know exactly where you are and know all about your life, even though it's much I easier. I understand. Yeah, that'd be against your your civil rights for me to control that you in, in such the, a manner. Uh, red muscle car. He's, he's reckless. Oh, I know. I've seen I a couple know. cops. I've seen a couple cops that are pretty reckless with their driving. Yeah, earlier earlier today today I almost got T-boned by a cop running a red light without his emergency lights and siren on. Interesting, interesting. Just and earlier today. Yeah. In a black and white, like that one right behind me. <laughs> Mojo earlier. Oh, I'll tell you. Heard, uh, I'll tell I've you heard so. a couple, couple stories of. Because uh, I just pulled out that police. black and white 10 minutes ago. I'm not uh, saying it was well, that one in particular, well, but there's like, definitely a police fuck? officer that almost T boned me. That's the first black and white that's been out well, been on my cars. The uh, police well, I'm force. I'm not a liar, so. The police you force is uh, very vast. And you never know who could be possibly uh, behind the wheel. I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Christmas, but did you just flip me off? If that's so, no, we're gonna that, have a my, big no, issue. No, no, that no, that <laughs> that was me. I, uh, I I it wasn't flipping you off. My just a little uh, twitch in the arm. Very good. I I wouldn't really want that. us to have an issue uh, in oh, any no. state of the world. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Anyway, Fuck as I was saying, you've been saying, too kind to us. I try. It is uh, such the nature of a police officer to uh, effectively and courteously carry out the law, and uh, it should be received with the same respect for any civilian uh, upon request to uh, pull over. But they should oblige the officer, considering the uh, amount of problems we've had in these past couple days and as Santiago came behind me confused as I would I did oblige to him here in this parking lot very good very good. well I appreciate that I do appreciate that because I really do hate police chases if you know what I mean they're just so long and drawn they're, out especially up in the Vinewood Hills reckless too. yeah 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 especially if you don't catch them yeah, exactly. If you don't catch them, that's the worst part. You know, the worst. You don't I catch them until later. In, in the that, uh, in that uh, motorcycle, I have a motorcycle of my own. It's it's probably not as fast as yours, uh, Mr. Myers. But uh, does it handle turns very well? 
Oh, it's superb. Superb, superb. Yep. And uh, if you were uh, trying to, you know, test it out, because I've been wanting to take my car, my bike out to the Vinewood Hills. Uh, I haven't been in town very long. Haven't had much time to experiment with uh, the quality of the roads. But would the Vinewood Hills be a good place to uh, possibly get to maximum speed level uh, within the law, of course, uh, and use the bike's superb maneuverability to uh, continue on such a path of maximum speed uh, within the law, of course? I feel the racetrack is the best place for that. Yeah, I, I do my uh, my high speed racing and stuff like that all at the racetrack. I I, have, I wouldn't risk anybody's life on the road. Oh oh, I oh, never I never you? said we were exceeding so I guess the speed limit. Hypothetically speaking, he's saying. I'm just I'm said, just saying hypothetically. Yeah, Hypothetic, hypothetically, if there was nobody on the roads, oh boy, I don't think anybody could catch me on that thing. No one? No one at all. Not uh, even a police me, uh, cruiser, probably. Officer, <laughs> I didn't catch your name. I am Officer Jones. David Jones, if okay. you uh, ever need to request my assistance for any reason. Uh, Officer uh, Jones, I need to use the porta potty over there. Wouldn't mind uh, giving me some room to open my door. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem. You can use the porty potty, but I will still have to talk to Mr. Myers. If you can uh, keep all questions to uh, oh, I will keep them talk only for the time being, being until I return. Of course, only to personal inter interaction until you return as his uh, lawyer and as his um, how would you say uh, teacher of sorts. Only person. I appreciate that. Now, now, Mr. Myers, I would please like you to turn off the engine to that vehicle, please. Y yeah, um... Hold on. <laughs> this, this is a newer car. I've never driven anything this nice. Oh, yeah? That's, that's, uh... Well, everyone deserves to drive a nice car every now and again, or a nice motorcycle, if you know what I mean. Why don't you just step out of it, then? That's also a possibility. If you could step out, that would, uh, surely assist me in, uh, feeling safe about you communicating with you, not in the running vehicle, could possibly run me over, break an ankle or something, I wouldn't like that. Perfect. Thank you, there Thank we you go. Mr. Miles. I do appreciate Beautiful. it. These now, new cars, Mr. Miles. You know, I don't know which button is what. Right, right. Yes, yes. I, I understand. Sometimes it can be too difficult with these newer models. Yeah, actually, the owner of it's going to get back in. I'm going to hop in my, uh, my seat. Thanks for holding that door open for me. Oh. There you go, <laughs> playing little ring around the rosy. It seems <laughs> it's oh, a it's a jubilee. <laughs> Watch this! I'm about to get him. I'm about to clap his bahuki. <clears throat> anyway, so as I was talking uh, to Mister Myers about his motorcycle, uh, hypothetically, of course, uh, the superb handling around the Vinewood Hills. Uh, would you say that to some extent uh, you could fit uh, some amount of cargo on that that same bike that uh, rides the uh, the hills so very well? Um, cargo. I, I don't know about that. Maybe maybe some stuff in your pockets. But that's about it. So nothing, nothing too big, like, you know, a 
brick or something like that. Definitely wouldn't be using it as like a pickup truck, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, no, 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 no pickup truck in a brick. I mean, I wouldn't want to put a brick in my pocket. <laughs> uh, he didn't, I think he understood what I was saying. Hey. Okay, okay, you well. Uh, I mean, you know, to be honest with you, we've just had some issues with a couple individuals or a single individual uh, evading us at, at, at every extreme with a souped up motorcycle. Um, you know, actually, uh, Mr. Myers, someday if you ever have the time to uh, please uh, join me on a ride around uh, Los Santos, maybe show me the ins of the outs of the city, and uh, I'll bring out my bike and you can bring out yours. Does that sound okay to you, Mr. Myers? Is it as soon as it's out of the shop? Me and you are going for a joyride. That sounds delightful. I do appreciate Mr. Myers. It seems that me and you are quite the friendly nature, and usually I don't get that interaction with most. Well, we just uh, we seem to have kicked it off. Yes, and you're a good we guy. Have. You're a good guy. Well, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that, but. Uh, well, I don't see any reason to keep you guys held up here any longer. Uh, like I said, those individuals, or a certain individual, uh, whomever he or she may be, uh, just needs to uh, possibly, if we do have to interact with them, uh, respond to the appropriate measures. Uh, given to us as police officers and officers of the law trying to carry out our sworn duty to protect these people of uh, Los Santos and uh, I just really hope that uh, whomever they are he or she and the possibility of whomever they may be uh, just respect next time that we uh, that we can come to a cordial interaction and not have to uh, run up and down and all around, all the time, it seems, uh, just for a simple little altercation, if you know what I mean. So if you could pass that along to whom or whomever you may get in contact with that might have some uh, possible nature in the negative form that they, uh, that they respond correctly and not overdo themselves and act like a fool. Could you do that for me, Mr. Myers? Do that. Yeah, I, I tend to not put myself around those types of people, but uh, if uh, Mr. Christmas runs into him, I bet he'll tell him. Oh, I'm sure that a lawyer of this great judicial system that we do have in place here would uh, watch over and try and keep uh, the unlawful and bring them back into the reins of the law and uh, be a law-abiding citizen. That would be his uh, duty uh, or his calling, uh, being such as a lawyer of this great judicial system. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It's part of my civic duty. Correct, correct. And uh, A-plus from Mr. Christmas for the right answers. Well, I think me and... What uh, I pay him for Yes, it, 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 I, I could agree and see that as a possibility. Uh, well, anyway, me and Mr. Uh, Officer Santiago are going to go ahead and get out of your hair. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay out of trouble now, y'all. And uh, hopefully we won't have to run in in any uh, unfortunate nature that may be uh, in the future. Would you agree upon that? Oh, well, find, I mean, find no trouble yeah. for me. Yeah, me either. Right, right, right. Okay, well, me and Officer Santiago are going to head out, and uh, I'll uh, speak with you guys later if we have any other altercations with this certain individual. Absolutely. Yes, sir. It's been Everything a wonderful night. Have a good one, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jones.
You too, Mr. Miles. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, Santiago. For... Uh, Santiago, Until I'm gonna tail them. Time. I'm gonna Miles. tail them. Yeah, even the smallest huh? traffic violation pulled them over. Okay. You're gonna tail them? I'm going to tail them, yeah. But I want you to be able to respond. Hey, babe. Yeah, I'm just gonna go fix my car. Sounds good. No, don't worry. Such a I hate how they lie them way out of everything and just like you Hey, know. fucking you see what Purple's been saying, right? You yeah, remember what happened, it. right? He was cuffed and he kept trying to fucking run. No, I know. It's fine. I, I hate I hate that shit when people talk down to me, man. I'm I, I just wanna get Christmas away from them so they can't concoct together, you know? If I can get Christmas away, and then you can, someone else can talk to you. Make a like, right I up said here. step out of the car, and they said no. Yeah, that's that's kind of like that's a disobeying a lawful command. You could arrest them for that. Like that's what I'm saying. Like in real life, you're not gonna tell an officer no. Yeah. I'm getting out of here, so they don't see me. Yep. If an officer tells you get out of the car, you get out of the car. My dude, what's up? He's probably gonna come back to his uh thing over here. <laughs> That's kind of wish I people would actually comply and be like, okay, I'm getting out, and you know, yeah, stuff like right, that. Right. But they don't do that. Right. Right. So he's just—they're like just making rounds around the block. Oh, hmm. Yeah, go get him, officer. Now, now, can you please make a right here and uh, pull into this next parking lot, please, for me? Did you get him? Oh, yeah. What happened? He uh, cut someone off uh, in the right lane. And took a hard right. You can go ahead and show up. Can I help you? <laughs> can I help you? Yeah, you can. <laughs> well, well, well. It just seems that we could not find a way to keep you out of trouble. Do you know why I have pulled you over, Mr. Christmas? I cannot imagine why. Would it possibly be that you uh, unlawfully, recklessly, took that right turn in front of that other gentleman who was in front of you, almost causing the an other accident? Gentleman, the other gentleman did not signal. They appeared to be going yep. straight, and I took the right turn. I was all the way over, close to the curb, and they changed their mind at the last second and almost caused the accident. Not me. Now, that now, is true. we cannot be in response. We cannot be responsible for someone else's actions. It was uh, up to them to choose if they wanted to take a right early or late. It was up to you to yeah, take but that. Without a blinker. Well, if we're going to talk about fair. blinkers, then uh, several times they neither were, you they or were making I. the right turn in the opposite lane. They were the ones being reckless. That's not what I saw. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Christmas, can you please yeah, I... step out of the vehicle? I would also like to see some license and registration for this vehicle. Christ. It's in my breast pocket. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Well, seems like you own this car. That's nice. That's a pretty nice car to own. I don't think you have an expired license. Uh, Officer Santiago, can you please come over here and make sure that, uh, take this information, make sure that he does not have an expired license. And, uh, Mr. Myers, uh, either take yourself out of the driver's seat or, uh, Ex exit the vehicle. Uh, Thank you. No, he can stay in the car. Uh, actually, no, he cannot. Done no wrong here. He was in the driver's seat. I cannot allow him to stay in the driver's seat. What if he decided, 
I don't want to be here anymore, and just drove on off. How would I be able to stop him? Oh, well, you'd have to get in your car and chase him down, but trust me, he does not have permission to drive my vehicle. Mm. And I didn't have the engine on. I made sure I didn't turn it on. But, I'm out of it. Yes, and I do respect you, uh, uh, listening to my command to exit the vehicle. I much appreciate that. Now, now, now. Uh, Mr. Christmas, would you like to join me somewhere else? Uh, so your client, of course, and uh, the other officer can have a cordial discussion uh, while me and you discuss professional matters such as the uh, unlawfulness that you have uh, just shown me through your reckless driving. Is that acceptable to Absolutely you, Mr. Christmas? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's unacceptable. Is that so? Unacceptable to keep... Uh, would you like to have... Uh, Mr. Santiago and your client involved in all the matters that would have to do with your unlawful reckless driving? Well, if it was indeed reckless, then give me the ticket. And if you deem it dangerous, impound my vehicle. I'll accept that. I'll pay my fines. I'll go to driving school. I'll do, I'll do all that. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I think we should, you should just offer, issue him a, a ticket for unlawful driving. But I'm not going to leave my client alone here. Well, with okay. Santiago, I will. You uh, obviously are fishing for something. Oh, so. no, absolutely not. Fish I am away. just, I am trying to get a double statement. One with from you and one from him. And if they do not uh, necessarily align, then we might have an issue. But, uh, my well, if policing... you truly believe that my driving was reckless, as I told you, I will accept the penalties. Well, Mr. Santiago, Officer Santiago, will be happy to issue you your fine. Uh, it shouldn't be anything crazy. I mean, we've usually had pretty good conversation. You've been cooperative to an extent. Uh, and, uh, if you... As your lawyer, as the lawyer of uh, <clears throat> Mr. Myers, who's sitting over there, if he would uh, right so, if, if he would so uh, want to say mm, deny or contradict anything that I have seen, uh, would you be okay with me taking a statement from him with you in my his presence? As his lawyer, of course. If he says um, it's fine. Well, I suppose it's within your legal right, but I would prefer to pay the fine and go upon my way, as I'm a busy man, man. That is perfectly I'm okay. I'm sure you are, too. I know, I know. We have much things to do. This city is a big place to run. Isn't that right, Mr. Myers? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I could imagine all the hard work you guys are putting in. Definitely. Tough job, I can imagine. smoke, officer? Go right ahead. We always get our suspects. <laughs> we <happy> now. <laughs> but we will get them. Eventually. I, uh, eventually. I, I mean, I don't... I know, I'm not for it. The all of this sounds... Motto, isn't it? Trouble. So, yeah, but all this sounds so so threatening. Saying that, you know, it's it's people that talk down like, about other people. Like backhanded you know, accusations here RPs. and there. I, I mean, there's I, times I, almost I, feels I, like and I don't get so. I, I, I don't want to like, say it, but harassment. Like you know, but, at times but, when I'm variable, I'll I'm answer whatever you want. I was upset a little bit, but I was like, hey, officers RP are just being happens. thorough. I don't get salty as fuck. That's the word, actually. Yes, I was wrong. Thorough. Shoot you the third time. Correct. Correct. Thorough. It, uh, it's our duty word. to uh, uphold the law at every measure. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, now, Officer Santiago, right. as these two men are clearly, clearly busy, have many things to do. Uh, if you want to right. issue his fine, no need to impound his car. Uh, but uh, issue his fine and we will be on our way. How much you want to give him? Mm, what's the maximum? Give him half the max. No, give him three quarters of the max for reckless the driving. The maximum is like eighty grand. 
Oh, okay. You don't need to do that. Uh, give him. Get How much is 2000, uh, 2000, 2000. this 2000. type of fine cost? 2000 2000 Who are you, who are you guys Couldn't imagine much. Christmas. Uh, oh, what do you do? Reckless driving. <clears throat> about a $2,000 fine for reckless driving. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Now, now. Mr. Myers, it's not your fine to pay. Fine. Yeah, I'm Christmas. I'm sure we'll go to paving the city roads, upkeeping the traffic lights, and just <laughs> keeping everyone generally safe. Correct. Nah, Correct. The, paving the roads comes from uh, taxes on gas. That is correct. So, in most of the uh, that, states of the uh, Western nature, tax on gasoline is uh, the most effective way to uphold the city's uh, maintenance. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And the uh, city fines go to pay for judicial system and judicial works. Isn't that correct, Mr. Christmas? As a lawyer and a member of the judicial system, you would know. I don't work yeah, for but... the public judicial system. Not anymore. But you are involved, well, you correct? Would still know. You would have the knowledge of this. I'm not a city councilman, so I have no idea where or how the city chooses to spend its money. Actually, fun fact, uh, as a previous Wanna be lawyer? The bar exam actually has a, several questions to the extent of where uh, city funds are spent in the judicial system. So if you did indeed pass the bar exam, you would know that uh, where expenditures would li end up in uh, within the city and its judicial system. Correct. As a man who has passed the bar exam. Right. I guess if you want to be less than the average, you can uh, get uh, every question incorrect or, or miss some questions. That is correct, I do believe, but it's still good to study and to know things. And why not just say, hey, you learned something new today? Well, I feel that I can spend my time learning knowledge that will help better me and my practice and the individuals that I serve as opposed to how or why the city spends its money. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's just wanting to be a butt. <clears throat> well, I guess that is correct. Uh, go ahead. All I know is that my tax money better not go to fix your busted windows over there. Oh, don't worry. That comes out of my personal check. Pay for these busted windows. Just like Say if you wanted to soup up uh, a motorcycle to go faster, <laughs> move move quicker, take turns <laughs> a little better, you would have to take your own money, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the city's vehicle. You shouldn't have to pay for that. No, oh, I know, I know, but after you break a couple, there's uh, nothing else you could do but pay for your own. Say, if you get into a car chase with a man on a motorcycle, and you end up wrecking your vehicle, then, uh, oh. <laughs> unfortunately, the, the city asks you to uh, pay for the repairs of such vehicle. Well, at that point, you should have... It comes down to it, it's either ride with windows or ride with no windows, so... Which definitely takes a rainy day to a new place. No way to get away from the rain. You know what yeah, I hate most? Especially on a Wet motorcycle. Kevlar. Exactly. On a motorcycle when it's raining. Worst thing you could possibly imagine. As someone who owns a motorcycle as well as yourself, Mr. Myers. <laughs> uh, I just okay, arrest him. You just uh, find him and then I'll just follow him again <laughs> and caress yeah, him more. Well, you know, boys. Find who? Uh, Christmas. I really find do Christmas. hope you. Uh figure out who's been bothering you so much yeah me too I sure do wish that uh, the judicial system would have a, a little bit more respect than to just flee like a cowardly little uh, how would you say jackrabbit scared by a coyote if you know what I mean down in East Montana I mean you never know what's gonna run away from you if you walk through the woods 
Patience is vigilance. Patience is vigilance. And I'm sure we're going to find him eventually. I yeah, feel like ahead. we're very close, though. Like, we could always reach out and touch him. Very close yeah, indeed. I mean, the evidence the is, is clear. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Wait, Mars. wait, wait. What, what, do you, what do you mean the evidence is clear? Well, what, I can't discuss uh, official police That's business police with you, a civilian. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be... I feel that uh, we've been here well past what is warranted from a everyday traffic stop. And you're I right, you're right. Has Mrs. Uh, Santiago, have you issued way. his... Uh, fine yet so they these two fine gentlemen can go on these wayward sons can find the uh, their road to travel next yeah he's been issued it well I see no other reason why we are here come on mr. Santiago or officer Santiago let's let these gentlemen continue on their day you boys have a good day now not too much fun Absolutely. I hope you boys have an even better day Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, sir. You are very welcome. Goodbye, Santiago. <laughs> you want to tell him? He always does that. What? No, what you, do? You, throw, you do it again. Oh. No, uh, Random always singles me out, but bye, yeah. Santiago. Bye, Santiago. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, David Jones, Officer Davis Jones. Um, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Really appreciate you guys watching. As always, have a lovely day. Don't have too much fun without me. I will be back on uh, after work tonight, tomorrow, tonight, whatever. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. As always, have a lovely day. Don't have too much fun without me, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.